U.S. President Barack Obama declared from the White House that the planned referendum on the future of Crimea would violate international law. He also announced that the United States would impose visa restrictions and financial sanctions on Russians and Ukrainians for the moves Moscow already has made into Crimea. Obama said any decision on the future of Crimea, a pro-Russian area of Ukraine, must include the country's new government. The proposed referendum on the future of Crimea would violate the Ukrainian constitution and violate international law. Any discussion about the future of Ukraine must include the legitimate government of Ukraine. In 2014, we are well beyond the days when borders can be redrawn over the heads of democratic leaders. While we take these steps, uh, I want to be clear that there is also a way to resolve this crisis that respects the interests of the Russian Federation, as well as the Ukrainian people. Let international monitors into all of Ukraine including Crimea, to ensure the rights of all Ukrainians are being respected, including ethnic Russians. Begin consultations between the government of Russia and Ukraine with the participation of the international community. Russia would maintain its basing rights in Crimea, provided that it abides by its agreements and respects Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. And the world should support the people of Ukraine as they move to elections in May. President Barack Obama has also signed an executive order authorizing financial sanctions against individuals or entities responsible for activities undermining democratic processes or institutions in Ukraine. Meanwhile, Deputy Assistant Secretary of State Eric Rubin says the visa sanctions would target unspecified individuals and entities involved in threatening the territorial integrity of Ukraine.